from the <laughs> Upper Valley Newsroom. Vanessa Mishanya, WPTZ News Channel 5. Five and a half years ago, a bright young broadcaster came to work at NBC5 after graduating from Boston University. Thank you so much for logging on to WPTZ.com. <coughs> we would grow to love her and laugh with her. <laughs> Those around here. She called me poop face a second ago. <laughs> Not my fault. It is your fault because you're poop face. <laughs> I think I it. It's just still in your hand. Put it down. It's going to melt. We're still celebrating <laughs> National Ice Cream Sandwich oh, Day. Great. Food was a common Did theme I for her over the Cheers. years. Cheers. Woo. This is incredible. This is awesome. That's great. This is so good. So good. So good. So good. Yum. Google has fixed its hamburger emoji. Thank you. Goodness. Well, it is the question asked at cookouts across the country all summer long. Hamburger or hot dog? Well, my friend, this is America. And when given two choices, you should be able to have both. I introduce to you the ham dog. Although it does sound as American as a bald eagle riding a grizzly bear holding a copy of the Constitution, it was born in Australia and is available at sporting events there. From the beginning, animals were a feature in her work. You're a TV star. You're so cute. <laughs> now, not only are these guys really good at taking care of Christmas trees, but they also provide a crucial link to people who are new to this country. This one, oh, that's my chin you're doing on. Okay. <laughs> they do eventually grow up and serve a purpose. And <laughs> <laughs> No, in all my interviews, no one's ever licked the microphone. <laughs> it is Groundhog Day. So for the 131st year in a row, we will forego science and put our faith in a large rodent. David, we need to kill a hornet. Ah, you missed! You missed! You missed! <laughs> a brazen, four-legged troublemaker was at the center of a police chase unlike many have seen in Burlington. She may have loved every animal she covered, but none more than her own adopted shelter dog, Milo, who even made it on TV with his mom. Milo would benefit from some winter wear on a snowy day. He was a little uh, weirded out at first, but after a while, he knew he looked good. Oh, look at that swagger, though. Oh, my gosh. Vanessa covered the story of a lifetime at NBC5, the escape from Danamora. Richard Matt, 49-year-old, shot dead by Border Patrol. Let's start with the Burn Force One. It's not the official name, but I thought it rolled off the tongue. She also joined a press corps with Bernie Sanders on his presidential campaign. And this is where we spend a lot of our time. It's the press bus following Bernie Sanders wherever he goes with a Secret Service escort. She lived the grueling schedule news people face, but found out how to make the best of it. This is where I'm spending my Thanksgiving, even though I do have the day off today, little too far away from my family uh, to spend it with them. However, don't feel bad for me. I mean, come on. You see this? This is beautiful. And she could tear it up on the mountain when she was on skis, put her on a snowboard. Ah! Different story entirely. Vanessa Mashanya could roll with every punch this job can throw. I got clocked. And still get to work at 2.30 in the morning. And a very good morning to you. It is now 6.30 on Wednesday. I forgot what day it is because it's not the teleprompter. <laughs> Vanessa has grown into an excellent storyteller, a thoughtful journalist, an engaging anchor, and a friend who touched the lives of countless people in this region. After five and a half years here, we'll never forget her.